Okay, next we got uh, VDB converts. Now what it's going to do is you can generate your VDBs and your the convert node will obviously convert it to something else. So for example, this is one VDB and then you've got a convert node that sets it to volumes. So these volumes here are Houdini volumes. Um, so some tools when you're exporting will need uh, Houdini volumes instead of VDBs to export them or maybe some renderers will only support Houdini volumes or specifically if uh, if you want to use the volume tools you need to convert things to VDB I mean to Houdini volumes because these will only work on um, on Houdini volumes they won't work on VDBs with convert you get a couple of options you can convert to volume you convert this you can convert this VDB to something else so you can change the class from uh, STF to FOG, so that it'll turn to a FOG volume instead of a, uh, a uh, like a surface uh, or an STF. Uh, you can convert FOGs back to STF, uh, no change. Um, you can change the type. So say this is a so this specifically is a float. Okay, so you can see a float which means that it's a scalar value, so all it has is one float value saying density or whatever. Okay, if I change this to density, it might be a bit more obvious. Um, so this has a, a density value of one, two, zero. Um, and then actually with a VDB, it's inverted. So it'll be zero on the outside, then minus 0 0.1 all the way to minus whatever you have whatever your max density is um, you can invert this which is what will happen when you do a com uh, volume convert to volume it'll invert this so now this will be uh, density of one and this will be density of zero you can create uh, integers out of those which means it'll run them either up or down you can take a vector float create a vector float out of it okay let's leave it to no change precision so this is 32 bit and 64 bit so what this means is 64 bit is the most uh, accurate calculation so it will handle 64 bits of uh, decimal points which may be what you want but it's generally got a bigger file size and a bigger RAM overhead so if you want to drop that you can drop that to 32 bit and uh, you sometimes won't lose uh, any resolution or anything or any detail but it, you'll see your file size be, will be less so Let's see, let's see there, your file size is 5.8, and I drop this to 32, and your file size is 4.15. Not that much of a difference here, but when you start to get massive uh, VDBs coming through, it really makes a difference. Uh, prune tolerance, again, I spoke about that earlier. Polygons, so you'll use this mostly. This is actually what's inside the fluid surface. Here, when you create uh, fluid surfaces, I'm um, using flip. You'll see it'll have a convert in here somewhere. There it is. See, so this will create a polygon soup and convert and then add a whole bunch of attributes and things. So convert to polygons, what this is going to do is take the uh, STF. It doesn't work with density volumes, just S well with fog volumes, just STFs. And it's going to convert it to geometry. So you can see there's geometry there, whereas previously there was nothing. You can have adaptivity, which means it will only put polygon resolution where it needs it, like on uh, curves or on, in the details. This is really handy and it's actually part of the mesher that I just showed you. Um, so you can see there's more resolution where it needs it. It makes things really, really low in terms of disk overheads. Cool. One other cool thing you can do is you can pass other attributes through to this VDB or to this geometry here. So if I come in here and I create a color, for example, so equals set one zero zero. Okay, so everything's red, but then the VDB here is just the surface, and then you convert, and you're like, oh, where's my color? You can plug it in here in the second input, and make sure transfer surface attributes is on, and then it will transfer your your um, your color chart. It's similar, if but not exactly the same as in the third surface here. This is actually using an attribute transfer, I think, because you have these radius and samples, which you can do, but I mean, this is inherent. Sometimes, you must just check, double check, sometimes this doesn't work as um, perfectly as you would like, and then you just do a, an attribute transfer instead, and then um, plug that in like, like that. Mm -hmm. It should work just like that. Okay, and then you have um, 
radius attributes and things. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like it if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe for more content. See you next time.